Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod. And welcome back to another episode in this series uh, that is the Assimilation of the Alpha Quadrant, where we are trying to prevent exactly that from happening. We have all the major Alpha Quadrant powers against the Borg, and... Uh, Really, there is no clear def definitive answer on who is winning. The Borg have won quite a few battles, uh, but I think the Alpha Quadrant is a pretty big space. So we have plenty of time and, uh, well, space to be able to turn the tide of the war. And hopefully that is what happens. I believe in the last video I did with all the huge advanced vessels against the Borg fleet, we were able to win that. So that definitely gave the Borg a run for their money. And uh, now hopefully we do the exact same thing. So this time we have a Cardassian fleet and they have intercepted a group of assimilated vessels. Uh, no actual Borg, Borg ships here, Borg in quotes, no cubes, no spheres, no diamonds, no pyramids, no rectangles, no obelisks. Uh, but there are assimilated vessels. There are four assimilated Galaxy class starships and two assimilated Ravenous class two vessels, which we have seen in the past as being pretty de decently powerful. Uh, in our fleet, we have four Galores right here, as well as three Kelden refits, three regular Kelden class ships, and two Hatet class uh, battleship dreadnought things. So I'm I'm hopeful that that is enough to take out this Borg force. Uh, if it's not, then it should be a pretty entertaining engagement, that is for sure. We are at the Caleb versus map, and look at how pretty that background is. Wow. Look at the detailing of those nebulae back there. Now, that is the actual background. There are not actual nebulae like that in this map. You will see there's nothing back here. But it looks absolutely stunning. Look at that. Wow. Okay, en enough admiring the background. Let's... Wow, that is incredible. Let's turn the HUD back on. There lies the enemy. They are actually going the wrong way. That is... Unexpected. Uh, now, the assimilated Ravenous class ships are turning. Let's all warp over here. Let's try to... Uh-oh. Distract that guy if I can. Okay. Oh, the Grumala is taking heavy damage. Shields are down on the Prank Shiar. That's not good. We've already lost one of our main command vessels. I mean, not actual command vessels. My Galores are the command ships, but one of my heavy, you know, fleet vessels. Okay, this is the last guy. Now, where are those assimilated Klingons? That's what I want to know. Okay, let's actually... Can I get this guy in a tractor beam? I can. Let's just hold on to him, because when this thing explodes, I don't want it anywhere near my fleet. Full power to shields. Alright, there it goes. Yeah, I didn't want that anywhere near my fleet when it went. That would not have been a, a good time. I don't know. Hopefully it'll hit the... Uh Ravenous, though. Maybe they'll fly right into that explosion? No. Getting nothing. Okay, well, that was a, a lost cause. And we're taking damage. Let's warp back into where the actual battle's happening. Power... Let's put power back to the center. Bounce it out. Oh, they've lost their starboard cell. It's gone flying. Torpedoes are away. Come on. There we go. Assimilated galaxy class destroyed. Uh, two more are on the way, however. They've decided to come back from wherever they were. And really bad things are happening. 
Hopefully not a chain reaction. Let's actually all attack this guy. Hey, let's all attack this guy. We just lost our other Hatet class. That's bad. Like, really bad. We've lost shields on the Aldara, and engines just went offline. Let's conduct repairs, full power to the shield systems. We are dead in the water. Actually, we're, 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 we're probably just dead. Oh, wait, I think they did lose another. <gasps> they did lose another galaxy class. I think it was from that explosion over there. See, that Tet class did not die in vain. It was all according to plan. I do like the look of the Cardassian ships, especially the uh, Keldons and, and Galores. I mean, they look almost identical. The Keldons are a little bit beefier. Oh, we did lose the Aldara. It's gone. But I just like the Galores a lot. Let's do our best. Uh-oh. Ooh, let's shoot that one. Shoot that one. Everyone shoot that one. Now. Shoot it now. Warp. 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 Away. Is anyone going to survive? That mayhem. One guy. One killed in class. Okay, well, one is better than none. That is always the case. One of something is better than a none of anything. Alright, let's target that. Ooh, that is the last guy. That's the last one. That's the last Ravenous class. I think that chain reaction did more damage to them than it did... Well, no, that's not true. It didn't do more damage to them than me. Uh, but it did take down their fleet most of the way. Let's get a lock. Full power to weapon systems. Tear them apart. There we go. We have prevailed. Look at that. Okay, the Cardassians are victorious over the Borg, but only just. Only just. If uh, we had not had those massive explosions, those chain reactions the way that we did, it's quite possible that we could have lost that. Thankfully, they did help, even though uh, I didn't expect it. So that battle took just over six minutes. We did lose one of our command glories and the majority of our fleet, except for one of the Kelden glass ships. But we were able to completely vanquish our enemy, the Borg Assimilated Vessel. So if you guys enjoyed that battle, well then please be sure to leave the video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well then please subscribe because there's always more Star Trek Legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason, however, you guys did not enjoy the video, I do apologize for that. And I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what it is that I could do to improve the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when watching them. And, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, well then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that, and I will read through all of your various suggestions and ideas, and I will do my best to use your recommendations in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.